Food shortages, economic collapse. Are you prepared for what may be coming? The world around us is crumbling. The walls are slowly falling down. And you have to make sure that you are prepared for you and your family. Simple fact of the prices that are increasing at the grocery stores are going to be pricing you right out of buying food for you and your family. I've seen pictures that people have emailed me on some of the prices and stuff that they're paying in their local areas, which is just ungodly for somebody to pay. Even in the prices and stuff that we make in this day and age, even if you're working at McDonald's, you still can't afford these prices. Gas prices right now are still kind of relatively low. Come November, when OPEC cuts the 2 million barrels a day, with our lack of refineries here in this country, well, prices are going to be going up. It's going to be a culture shock for a lot of people because you don't think it's really going to take place. It's not going to happen. The feds have already announced that because of the inflation, they're going to be raising the interest rate again in November. Also another three quarters of a percent. This is going to make it very difficult for a lot of you people out there to provide for you and your families. So now is the ultimate time to make sure that you are getting out and you're trying to do your best in what you are doing and how you're preparing and how you are saving your money. Clipping any coupons that you can find so that maybe you can buy extra food to put away because this is going to be a very bad winter folks. I really don't be, I really don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but this is not going to be very good for a lot of people. The price of heating oil, the price just to, of energy, just to heat your home, turn your lights on, your water, everything has gone through the roof and everything is going to keep rising. The time to prepare is now. The time to be ready is now. The time to make your plan is now. The time to start buying some of these goods that you see behind me, whatever you maybe can afford is now. Your dry goods and everything else, you can start off and you can start putting those in vacuum sealed bags, Marlar bags. You can do a lot of different things, canning jars with all your dry goods. So you can stock up on flour and sugar, yeast, and these type of goods. Now canned goods will last for quite a long time. If you can store them properly, well past their best buy dates. There are things that you can do to be prepared. You also have to remember there's more to it than just your food and those type of goods. If you have small children, you have to remember you're going to need diapers and wipes and those type of things. You're going to have your basic necessities that you have to also try to plan for paper towel, toilet paper, toothpaste, toothbrushes, all these different types of things that go into your daily routine that you and your family go through on a daily basis. So this way here, you can take and you can put away so that you can survive. You can store a lot of goods, canned goods on shelves. I've showed you videos and stuff where you can store your dry goods and stuff. Once you put them in your Marlar bags or you vacuum seal them, you can store them in totes and put them underneath your bed or store them in a closet or something like that. So nobody sees it if you're worried about that. You can also store them in plastic buckets, five gallon buckets. Sometimes you can score those for free, but there's ways that you can be doing these things so that you and your family will be prepared so that you can survive the storm. The key here folks is, is you got to really think about what it is that you use on a daily basis. What kind of foods is it you like to eat? Your family's going to eat. Don't prep for things that you don't, won't eat. It's, it's ridiculous. If it's just on sale, don't buy it unless you're going to eat it. Make sure that when you are doing your shopping, you're clipping the store coupons, you're clipping any coupons in the app that you may get in your newspaper, uh, anywhere that you can get coupons to try to save money. It all does add up. Even if you take that money and put it aside, for the whole month and then turn around at the beginning of a month 
and use that extra money to put towards some of your preps. In years past, we have always sat back and we've always talked about as we come into the holidays, it's like a prepper's Christmas because everything goes on sale and people can just shop and buy and you're getting great deals. You can put away a lot of food with a little bit of money. This year, that is not going to happen. You may find one or two good deals, but you're not going to find any deal like we've had in the past. Those days have come and gone. Our time is now to be prepared. We need to make sure that we are doing everything possible that we can possibly do to ensure that our families will be taken care of during this difficult time that is going to be coming. It's already here, folks. Do what you can do now to offset the pain and suffering that you're going to have later on when you have to start filling that fuel tank, when you have to start putting higher price gas in your car just to get to work, and when you have to go to that grocery store and pay the extraordinary high prices of food that's in the grocery stores now. Time is of the essence. You control your future and being prepared. I try to do the best I can to bring you the knowledge to help you along. But ultimately, you are the one that has to make that decision. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody heeds the warning. I hope everybody gets out there because these food shortages and this economic recession that we're coming into is not going to be fun. So until next time, folks, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.